with Gloria. Today, I want to share with you a very delicious turkey breast in Guajillo Adobo that I know that you guys are really going to love and enjoy. The holidays are just around the corner and I want you to prepare this delicious turkey breast. But first things first, my apron is on, my hands are clean, and I am ready to show you my ingredients. I have garlic cloves, oregano, table salt, allspice, peppercorns, achote powder, two chiles chipotles, potato, guajillo chili pots, half an onion, the turkey breast bone with bone, and chicken broth. This is everything we need to make this delicious turkey breast and this delicious adobo. I know that you guys are going to love it. So let's get started. I wanna start with my chilies. I have the guajillo chilies here. I have deveined them. I already removed all the seeds. And now let's take it to the stove. I have very hot water where I'm just gonna leave them in here, turn the stove off and just let them rehydrate. Just like this, we're just gonna leave it there until we are ready to use them. I'm gonna start with my potatoes. I'm gonna start peeling them one by one, making sure that I get those little black spots. You want them really nice and peeled. And I'm gonna go ahead and rinse them out, just completely making sure that I rinse them really good through running water. And once this is done, now, you know something, I am ready to prepare my baking dish. I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit of the vegetable oil in the center so that the potatoes won't stick to the bottom. And I'm gonna start organizing all my sliced potatoes. And you know something, now I am ready to start adding the guajillo chilies to my blender. I'm gonna go ahead and just add the guajillo chilies. I'm not adding the liquid as you could see and now i am ready to start adding the chipotle the oregano the garlic cloves the rest of the spices remember that the salt is to taste i'm adding the chicken broth the half an onion and let's go ahead and let's blend it completely we want to make sure that everything is really nice and incorporated when this is completely done, now I'm gonna go ahead and put it through a sifter. We're gonna go ahead and sift it so that we get all that pulp out and we only want the delicious flavor and the liquids, but we don't want the pulp of the guajillo chilies just like this, look, okay? Once you have everything like that, then let's get ready. And let me taste it to see if I need to add a little bit of more salt. But to my tasting, no, we don't need to add any more salt. Remember that the salt is to taste. And now I am ready to drench all my sliced potatoes. I'm going to go ahead, put it aside. And you know something? I'm adding my turkey breast right in the center right on top of all those potatoes. And I'm pulling the skin off the meat so that I could add the delicious adobo inside. Remember, this guajillo adobo comes out very delicious and it gives the turkey breast such a delicious flavor. Once you try, you're going to love it. Just make sure that you add it in between the skin and, and on top of the, of the turkey breast. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just rub it making sure that everything is nice and coated. I'm gonna go ahead, add a little bit on the top, just a little bit, I'm gonna rub it in. I'm going to flip over 
my turkey breast and I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the bottom portion. We wanna make sure that all the turkey breast is really well covered with this delicious guajillo adobo. Once this is completely done, I'm gonna go ahead, flip it one more time and add the rest of the adobo right on the top. Remember, once you do this, you're gonna put it in the refrigerator for at least one hour to let it rest and let all that delicious adobo sink in. Once the hour has passed, now I am ready to add it to my oven. I'm gonna just cover it, put it in here, for at least 90 minutes at 425 Fahrenheit. After almost at the 90 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead, take the foil off, and I'm gonna leave it for about 15 minutes until it's nice and crispy. The total amount baked was 90 minutes. Now this is completely done. When this is done, add your, um, add your thermometer and if you don't have one, you're gonna um, just make sure that you follow the instructions on the package. But it's very important to have a thermometer because it needs to be at 165 Fahrenheit. And you always choose the thickest part of the turkey breast. Okay, this looks amazing. And now I am ready to slice it. And of course, ready to prepare my plate. My home smells delicious and this looks amazing. And believe me, with all the potatoes on the bottom, the potatoes absorbed all the delicious flavors. I wanna show you when I'm slicing it, when you let it rest for at least 20 minutes, all those liquids stay inside the turkey breast. Look at this. You don't want to slice it when it's very, very hot. You want to wait just a little bit, at least 20 minutes before you start slicing your turkey breast. Look at this. This is so tender, so moist. I mean, it smells delicious. And I want to show you when I'm pulling it apart. It's still nice and hot, but I want to show you how tender the turkey breast is look at this i am ready to taste it and you know something i'll see you in a little bit because i just can't wait my friends i am completely done with this delicious turkey breast you know something, the turkey is so moist, so tender. It has so many juices. It's just amazing. My home smells amazing. The potatoes really absorb the delicious flavor of the turkey breast. But you know, this is the part I really love and enjoy tasting my recipes. Let's see how this came out. The potato is nice and soft, but yet it's not overcooked. Excuse me. Mmm, mmm, it's so moist, so delicious. All those delicious flavors really penetrated in the turkey breast. This just came out amazing. If you liked and loved my recipe, I invite you to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, share my video on social media with your friends, with your relatives, so cooking with Gloria keeps growing. Don't forget to push that notification bell. And if you did, leave it activated. So every time I make a delicious recipe, yes, you are going to be notified. Before I say I see you soon, I wish you nothing but the best. Peace and love. And remember, when you cook with love, everything comes out delicious. See you on my next delicious recipe. Bye-bye.